Hello, greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. This is year 2027, coming to you from my kitchen. I'm about to make a, a YouTube called Tongues and Prophecy, May 2008. I'm going to try more than one of this series. Every so many months, I'm going to do one with Tongues and Prophecy, just so you can get used to it. Now, Prophecy and Tongues are messages for God, from God, using an individual. And they receive the words to speak by word of wisdom, word of knowledge, revelation, however you want to say it. God gives them the words. And it's that by their free will, they choose to speak what God wants them to speak. Now, these are human beings that are not perfect. So I'm going to do it, a prophecy first. And I will start now. For there is but one God. This God is strong. I am the God that loves you. The God that stands with you. The God that stands for you. God is a God of love. For this, for the devices of this world are evil. But the devices of God are spiritual. They are everlasting. They are knowledge. They are truth. They are love. They are there to guide you. It is Christ in you if you reach for my love. And my love is God's love. I am God. I am the one that walks with you. I am the one that sent you. I am the one that created you. I am the one that gave you life. I am the one that gave you mother life so she could create life in you. I said everything in action because I love you. Now this is the end of what I'm going to call prophecy. And God, it was God speaking through me. Now I'm going to do a little short tongue. For truly, my children, I am your God. I am a God of love, a God of strength, a God of guidance, a God of comfort, a God of great wisdom, a God that stands with you, a God that sent his Son to save you. From the devices of this world. Be not afraid, but walk with me, for I am a God of love. That was the interpretation of the tongues I spoke. Now, I'm not here to fight, because many will not want to hear this, and I'm not here to make it ridiculously long, for, because many are not going to believe me. I'm here to share, to share a sample of tongues and interpretation and word of prophecy, because I want to share and help many of y'all reach out for God. And because this is about the Bible, the Bible, the Word of God, which was received to us by Word of Prophecy, Revelation, Word of Knowledge. God gave them, told them what to speak, and they spoke. All Scripture, whether in the Bible or out of the Bible, whether answered prayer or whatever, it's, a, it's God working in man to teach man what man needs to know, what you can't know from five senses. What all the five senses lead to nothing, but God leads to truth and love. Now, you don't have to believe God created the heavens and earth. You don't have to believe anything. God gave you free will. You don't have to believe that I spoke in tongues. You can believe I made up the words, whatever you want. You can believe that the it's all was you know, fake, but you can believe what you want, but it was real. And I believe it to be real. I'm the one that has to be judged if I lied. I'm the one to stand behind it. And I'm asking for no money. It makes me sick when the churches say, give us a love offering. They don't know what they're doing. Jesus turned over the money changes because these people were using God's love, God's word, God's power to get rich. It's not about getting rich. The word of God is free. It, that's why I use YouTube. Important boards to spread the word of God because it is not meant to be charged. It is not meant to, for anybody to pay for it. Titan was the Old Testament law. It was part of the law in Hebrews it talks about it. We're not under the law. Jesus paid the price, the full price for everything. There's nothing old. Jesus did it because he loved us. Christ died for you and me. And this is what it's all about. In tongues, it's Jesus Christ helping us learn things that we couldn't learn otherwise. Because 
Biblical research, research is a five senses thing. It's a tool of the flesh. It's not going to help you. All scripture is inspired by God. God gives the truth. It's by meditating on the word, by reaching up for, for that which is impossible to reach. That, that which is from above. That which is unreasonable. That which is not firstly. Where well, I'm going to stop about now. And I want to thank you for your time. With a holy kiss blowing you, Ray Roy, because the Bible says greet one another with a holy kiss, even though it sounds weird, and it does sound weird to me, and it's uncomfortable to do it at times, but that's what the Bible says to do, so that's what I'm going to do the best of my ability. I see it as a young child blowing a kiss goodbye. So I'm blowing a holy kiss to you, and God bless you, and thank you for your time, and have a wonderful day. I love you. Thank you.